Hey there, welcome to today's video. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a tutorial on how to create your very first journal notebook cover design for Amazon KDP. Now creating a journal notebook cover may seem intimidating, but with a tool like Canva, it's actually quite simple. Now Canva is a free graphic design tool that's user friendly and it makes it easy for anyone to create these professional looking designs for book covers, for interiors, as well as other designs in just a few clicks uh, with no design experience. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating your very first journal notebook cover using Canva. So if you like this type of video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new upload from me. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing that you want to do is you want to open up your browser and you want to search for Amazon KDP template. Okay, and you want to click on this link where it says print cover calculator and templates. It'll take you to, to this page where we're going to enter our book information so that we can um, correctly make a cover for our journal notebook. Okay, so here it'll ask for binding type. So our book is a paperback. You can also choose hardcover, but we're building a paperback. Our interior type is uh, just black and white, not color. Uh, paper type, we're gonna choose white paper. Page turn direction, left to right. Measurement units, you can choose inches or millimeters. I'm gonna use inches. And for the trim size for this journal notebook, uh, we're gonna use a six by nine inch. Now for page count, I like to use 120 pages. All we do is we calculate dimensions. Um, it doesn't really matter all this, all these numbers that you see. The, the number that we want is this full cover number because this is what we're gonna put into Canva uh, so that we can have the correct dimensions when we're creating this design. So here's Canva. Once you're in Canva, all you have to do is create a design right here and choose a custom size. Now I've already put it in, it's 12.52, 9.25. Gotta make sure that you use inches because I think this one is usually on pixels. So you gotta switch it to inches and then click create new design. Now that we have our canvas here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the browser and we're gonna download this template. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to have this PNG image right here that we can overlay on top of um, this blank sheet that we created. It will allow us to create our covers correctly. So now let's go and take this. And all I do is I just, you can just drag it in and It'll be right here. So there it is right there. And then what you wanna do is you want to click on it. And after that, uh, just enlarge it. And um, so that it fits, let me move myself. So that it fits on the page. So now that we have that, we can see um, that this is the front cover on the right. It says it right here, front cover. And on the back, this is the back cover. We can see that this is where the barcode will be. So any design that you make, you want to leave this blank because this is where the barcode will go. You can see there's a spine right here where you will put your title. And if we go through this area, it'll say the black solid line equals trim size. So this black solid line that borders this is where the book will be cut. Any design that's over this will most likely be cut. So you don't want to, you don't want any important design over here. Okay, the blue dashed line on the is the spine fold. So this, these two lines right here that run parallel down, where it will be folded. So anything to the right of this line is part of the the front cover. Anything to the left of this line is the back cover. And in the middle of this white area right here is where you want to put your text for um, your title of the book. 
The white area is where we're going to design. This is considered live area and the red area is out of live or bleed. So we don't want to put any important designs in this red area. Now, what I like to do uh, while I'm building is I like to hit this button right here where it says transparency and I like to make it so it's maybe like 20% so that I can still see this and, and stay within this area. But I can also build and create the design. So now that we have this, what we want to do is we want to start building. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to put a box here for the spine. So how you do that is you have a bunch of tabs on the left side. You have a design tab, which has templates. You have an elements uh, tab, which has a lot of uh, shapes and graphics and stickers that you can use to build your design. You have your uploads. Um, you have your text right here where we can put the text for our title. Um, you have this project tab and then you have apps right here. But mostly what we're going to use is this elements tab. And we'll, what I want to do is I want to click this box and then uh, let's go in a little bit. And I like to have this kind of box on the spine. And as you can see, it actually overlaps the red part. So it'll actually, you'll see it on the front cover and the back cover. And I actually like it this way because it seems more of like a journal when you're seeing it on Amazon. So I'll just make it a little bit bigger. And what you could do, I'll click this position uh, button and you can align it so you can align it center and middle and then you can just drag this and make it I like to overlap it just to make sure that I get every single area of the page and so what I want to do is I want to color this black so there you go now after that um, what I want to do is I want to change the color of the background Okay, in order to do that, first off, we need to get rid of this because we need... So I'm just going to delete this real quick and then we can put it back up. But I want to put a color here and I'm thinking maybe blue, maybe something like this. All right. And then now that we have that, um, we can go back to uploads. And I'm just going to upload this back in. Upload it back in. Make sure it clicks. All right. Position. Put it back to 20. And, uh, and I'll move it back. Now, I want to put a title on here. So what you do is you click on text. And then you want to click this at a heading. And you want to drag it to the right side here and just resize it to what whatever size you like. But I'm thinking maybe like that. I don't really know where I want to put it yet, so I'm just going to just put it here. But I do know I want to center it. So what you want to do is you want to center it to this where this the red line is here um, all the way to this line. So now that's centered. Now we're going to put in the title. This one just for this example is just titled journal. So I was thinking maybe um, put some type of design, maybe look at some leaves. And then I want to go into graphics here. So we just click see all. Now keep in mind, uh, there are some of these that have this crown, which is it's, it's uh, for pro users. This is for the paid version. There are a lot that are free, so that's why I say it's it's free to use. Um, if you wanted to use uh, some other ones that have this uh, pro label on it, you're going to have to pay for it. But honestly, you don't need it. Uh, when I first started out using Canva, I didn't pay for it. And I just created um, things completely from the free graphics that they provided. So for this, let's see. Just want to scroll through here and see if there's something I like. This one looks kind of interesting. If you click on that three dot and 
you click on see more like this you can kind of it shows you similar types of images and I actually like this one so I want to try using it so all you do is you click it and it, it shows up on here and I don't like it's green so I'm gonna change the color by going up here and just changing it to black and so now that we have this um, I just want to kind of make a design so give me a sec and let's see what we can do and then this one go here put like that okay so now that we have this I kind of want to change the title color kind of want to change it to um, maybe like a gold type color maybe like that and then I want to change the font so I want to just scroll down and just find something that you know looks nice this is pretty nice um, I want to increase the letter spacing a little bit so this is where you do that right here and then maybe I want to change the effects on it you can do that by clicking this effects button and then it gives you a bunch of styles that you can apply like a shadow or a lift um, for this one I want to try just putting a little lift on it so it kind of stands out from the blue kind of want to move this so it looks more centered oops okay so now if we look at this we can see that everything is in the proper place there's nothing important that's outside of this red line right here that's in this red line you can see the barcode will go here okay so this journal is complete all we have to do now is delete this and as you can see here is your first journal design that you can upload on KDP and it's as simple as that. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create your very first journal notebook cover on Canva. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a new upload from me, as well as leave a comment down below if you have any more questions or on what type of video you wanna see next. With that being said, Thanks for watching. Bye for now.